There's another explanation for the car. This report typed up in 1974 by Bradford Snell offered another explanation for particularly the American city accommodating cars. It's not an explanation that's widely held in scholarly circles anymore, uh, but it's widely known. Uh, Bradford Snell contended that General Motors, Ford, and uh, Chrysler really subverted urban transportation. First of all, they agreed to cooperate with each other. That is not to compete the way you're supposed to in a free market. And then once they did that, together with other automotive interest groups, they combined together to subvert competitors to automobiles, specifically General Motors, uh, Firestone Tire and Rubber, and uh, Standard Oil founded a holding company called National City Lines. And they really did this. And National City Lines really brought, bought up electric street railways in several cities in America. And once it owned them, it then scrapped them and had them replaced with General Motors buses on which, uh, which were riding on um, Firestone tires and burning standard oil fuel. And all of this is true. And in fact, uh, there was a uh, antitrust lawsuit filed against the conspirators here. And they were found guilty of one count of conspiracy uh, against um, competition or fined. But where this falls short, as an explanation is that by the time National City Lines bought up electric street railways, it got them on the cheap because they were already mostly bankrupt or in trouble, losing money uh, in the red. And so the question has to be, how did they end up in such bad shape before these uh, groups got together, uh, rather than um, explaining it all, as Bradford Snell does, with this case?